The whole B-Twist spin setup thing confuses a lot of people, and it's really not that hard. A lot of people think it's some crazy life. So when you're coming at your B-Twist setup, you want a light jog, you don't want to sprint. You can walk into it, that's fine. You want to do it slow, make sure you understand it. But, um, all it is, and now at this point, my left foot is going to step more around than forward. And what this does is it starts throwing me into a spin. See, now I'm facing to what was going to be my right side. And now this is the end of the setup, basically. I step off of my left foot, and I kick my right leg back while looking toward what is the camera now. And that's the end of the setup. So here's what it looks like for a right side twister. And then here's what it looked like for a left side twister. On to the actual technique. You want to spot what would be behind you. The foot facing that direction can either literally face that direction, be angled, or even up to sideways. What is important though is that you're on the ball of your foot. As with the back kicking leg, you kick out and you can start facing that direction, ball of your feet, then as you do your dip, you kind of like pivot on the balls of your feet to turn your direction all the way around. Ultimately, you end up with your now front leg facing forward and your back leg facing that way. The dip is kind of just a way to take your spinning momentum go down and then go back up is just bringing your body mainly your chest down then as you pivot face forward and you just bring your chest back up and turn it up. the main things of the b kick that transfer to the b twist is your back leg has to kick up really hard you always want to go like that your arms, as you're coming out, come here, you want to like pull back and that'll just open your chest wide, it'll help the arc, it'll lift you up more. And this is basically a pre-wind, then as you dip, you're going to start coming toward being like chest forward and once you hit the height you twist and go to like the side so like you would do this before spinning rewind jump hit the middle then twist you're gonna do that in your B twist you're gonna be wound up go down open up hit the height twist.